Hi, and welcome. I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, Presbyterian Minister of three congregations in Eastern Ontario, and thank you for joining us for this week's Children's Time. And it's Thanksgiving weekend, so I hope you are able to enjoy it, surrounded by your family and friends, and having some really good food to eat this weekend. What is, does it mean to be thankful? And how does that affect us? And I sort of been wrestling with that during the week. And I thought, okay, I'd like you to make a list, get a piece of paper and pencil or pen, make a list. And I want you to list 10 things. Okay, 10, whoops, there we go, 10 things. Um, that make you upset or angry. You know, it could be something your parents asked you to do and you didn't want to do it. Uh, it could be uh, eating some food that you really hate or doing some homework that you don't want to do, having chores, you know, whatever, having a friend that, that you fought with or someone at school you don't even like. And make a list of the 10 things. And then I want you to read them off and explain and just sort of feel what happens when I say that? What happens when I say I really hate? Let's see, what do I really hate? Um, hmm. I don't like my rosemary. Uh, and that's a spice. Then it tends to give me migraines, which is why I don't like it. Um, hmm. Other foods that I don't like. That's harder to say. Hmm. Okay, what about some chores? I don't like it when my dog glares at me and has an accident in the house. I don't like have to cleaning up after him. I don't like. I don't like spiders. Okay. And I go, how does that make me feel? And it's sort of like my stomach is in knots. If I get really angry, I want to hit someone or something. Okay. I bet I basically don't feel good. Now make a list of 10 things that make you happy. And in my background back here, you can see some of the things that make me happy. I love clouds and I love to watch cloud formations. I love to see how the sun makes, you know, shadows and, and, and adds character to the sky. I love the colors in the trees. I love the geese back there, which is what all those little things are. They're geese. I love, I love my dog. I love my home. Um, I love my friends. I love good food. I love pumpkin pie. I love moose tracks ice cream. Um, and I start to make a list of all the things that make me feel good. And when I say them, I almost feel like my blood pressure is coming down. I am feeling cheerful, relaxed. I'm sometimes I'm bubbling and I'm just bubble over to everyone. So being thankful so it has good feelings. Being angry and, and finding fault with everything just gives you bad feelings. So I hope you could do that experiment and try it out for yourself. Years ago, there was a, a song that was very popular and it was just, thank you. Thank you for giving me the morning. Thank you for every day that's new. Thank you for family and friends, thank you. And it just, you can make up the words yourself. So I'm not a singer, but anyway, here it goes. Thank you for giving me the morning. Thank you for every day that's new. Thank you for friends and family. And thank you for you too. Thank you for food to eat and clothes to wear. Thank you for cars that work. Thank you for my computer and all its games. Thank you for you too. Thank you 
forgotten all you've done for me. Thank you for Jesus and your love. Thank you for all the gifts and blessings you have poured on me. And you just keep going and making it up as you go and just fill your life with that song this weekend. Thank you for so many things. Thank you for body that works. Thank you for friends. Thank you for family. Thank you for food. Thank you for clothes. Thank you for a home. Thank you for a nice bed. Thank you for good computer games. Thank you for television, whatever. Just make that list longer and longer and longer and sing the song for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, God, for just being you. So let's pray. Dear Lord, you've given us so many blessings. It can't even count them all. You've given us life. Thank you. You've given us bodies that work. Thank you. And even if they don't work, I still thank you. Lord, we thank you for friends and family and for all the fun times and maybe even for all the bad times too. I'm not sure, but thank you for them anyway right now. Just thank you for the love you've shown us in Jesus, for the love you shower, shower upon us every day. Thank you, God, for being you. Amen. So once again, I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, Presbyterian Minister in Eastern Ontario, and thank you for joining me for this Thanksgiving weekend. Take care, God bless, and see you next week. <laughs>